Kisumu, but let's hear more from Kisumu. And now joining me live from there is Laura Otieno. Laura, what is the, the impact of the pending bills on the business in Kisumu? Well, indeed, Trevor, some of the members of the business community have been complaining that they are unable to sustain their businesses or because the county government has been unable to pay uh, some of their bills. Remember, uh, when the co uh, controller of budget and the auditor general uh, raised questions of uh, suspicious spending bills of up to 35 billion shillings, we saw uh, Kisumu County Governor Anyang Nyongo form a special committee that was to vet afresh all those uh, contractors who are uh, uh, claim of some money from the county government. Well, that directive was issued on October 7th, and so far uh, the county government has insisted that it will not make any payment to any contractor that fails to appear before that committee, because the governor was saying that uh, immediately he assumed office, he had inherited appending bills from the previous regime of up to 3.5 billion shillings. Therefore, he said that he wanted to vet all those who are, uh, who are asking for money from the previous regime, and uh, he stated that all those who are summoned should appear with their relevant testimonials before that committee. But then the business community has been very adamant in appearing before the committee, saying that if the governor was indeed uh, legitimate in his concern, then he would have summoned sp the specific uh, contractors who had issues with their, pay with their bills. And he say that, uh, they say that uh, the uh, governor would have written a uh, requesting for sp uh, particular documents from particular contractors. They're saying that that sort of a uh, blanket someone uh, seems uh, a bit malicious to them and they indicated that they will not be appearing before that committee. So that is part of the reason why Kisumu County has been listed uh, by Treasury as, some of the, as one of the counties that have at least tried to settle some of their pending bills. The governor has insisted that he will not be making any payment whatsoever and as it stands right now uh, the contractors were saying that uh, they are uh, asking the county government for up to 1 billion shillings. Some of them are saying that uh, their tenders that backdated uh, uh, up to uh, 2013 uh, but then the county government has insisted it will not be making any payment and Trevor as hindsight that uh, during the controversial uh, Kisumu uh, county budget we saw uh, the county assembly really adamant on uh, pushing uh, for the payment of the spending bills and therefore it's been quite a sticky issue because that is one of the reasons as to why the budget was stuck in the conduits for up to three months because MCS was saying that they did not get official figures from the county government as to how much exactly uh, they they were owing contractors in terms of pending bills. But as soon as that budget was approved, the governor had said that all contractors must appear before that special committee. Contractors also insisting that they will not be appearing unless specific people are summoned with the specific documents that they are supposed to be presenting to that particular committee. So uh, we are not very uh, uh, sure of how much uh, the county still owes up uh, contractors, but contractors on their side insist that the payments uh, amount up to up to uh, 1 billion shillings. So in terms of how that has affected businesses, we've seen road stalling in part of uh, the uh, constituencies around town, and we have seen uh, some bridges. You remember, it's the rainy season, therefore there has been flooding in some of the areas. We've seen culverts that have been laying in complete for months on end, contractors insisting that they will not be completing any work whatsoever, and they will not be engaging with the county government anymore until their payments are made. So we are waiting to see who will link fast between the county government and the contractors in terms of payments. Remember uh, with the president's directive on county governments to pay those pending bills. So we are waiting to see between the contractors and the county government who will blink first, whether the contractors will be appearing before that committee or the governor will perhaps decide to pay those contractors in accordance to uh, the president's directive, Trevor. Thanks, Laura. Very great concerns there from the people of Kisumu. We are traversing the entire country just to see what's really happening and find out what the impact of the pending bills has been on the people on the ground.